So, here I am again. Um, I, I thought I'd give it a third go because uh, the last one cut out before I got to do any yoga. So, um, yeah, here I am. So, if anyone's out there, uh, I'm not sure if I can get any comments or anything yet, but um, I'll, I'm working this out as I go along, you see. So, um, yes. Uh, the, yeah, the point of these things really is just to. Uh, I want to get I want to get the work out there, uh, and I want to make make it accessible to anyone anyone who cares to just inquire into the the process of um, how to put it um, sort of communion with your body really it's, it's uh, spending time in communion with your body that's that's the yoga that's it. Um, Turning up, turning up with in a presence to to what is going on, to what your body is saying, not the neurotic diagnosis of problems, but asking, asking the body in this moment, what would you like? How do you feel? And, and usually the answer is very, very simple. It's, um, it's usually something along the lines of, um, I want to let go of tension. Um, and in order to achieve that, I need to feel supported. And, and the, the yoga begins in the, in the attempt to look for support that will allow you to let go of tension. The yoga begins. How do I know when I've got that? Well, you can breathe. Simple as that. You can breathe. You can breathe what you're doing, not just breathe on top of what you're doing. So, anyway, uh, yes, I, I wanted to share a little bit of my yoga with you. Um, the, the thing I find myself um, sharing mostly when I, when I travel around and teach, which I, I do quite a lot of, um, the thing that I find is most needed is, is um, a change of direction of attention. The, the, um, the modern way of looking at the body is to uh, treat it like a machine. To, um, uh, to anatomize it, to diagnose it, to, to, to take the body to an expert, um, to have it diagnosed, and then the expert will tell you what you need to do with it. Um, I'm trying to turn that on its head, because uh, for me, the, the big liberation, the big liberation was in um, discovering that all I had to do was be with my body and my body would tell me everything I needed to know. Uh, and this is, an, uh, this is an ongoing process. This is a, uh, and the skill of interpreting accurately is really the thing that develops through practice. Um, so the th yes, yeah, so th the thing I find myself uh, sharing when I, when, I, when I go and teach somewhere new, uh, somewhere, somewhere that isn't, hasn't been exposed to the thing that I teach, um, the thing I find myself, myself pointing people towards is where to point their attention. Um, and it's usually in the other direction, because we, we, we tend to go inwards when we do our yoga practice. And um, in, that, in that inwards direction, um, well, what I witness is that the, the, the action excel, itself actually creates some of the issues that we find when we get there. So, um, what I would persuade you to do in this moment is to take your attention into the earth beneath you because your engagement with that, your interaction with it, is that is what supports you through your bones, through your joints, and also not only where you are in space, not, not only just proprioception, but, um, but also 
how you respond to space. Um, we, we have we have a reactivity to to our, our space as well as um, to what we feel in our bodies and what we feel in our touch. Um, so places that you retract from are going to be places that don't breathe. And um, one of the one of the tricks that I give give people to to help them into into um, a sort of compassionate presence to their bodies, rather than a, this sort of inward neurotic diagnosis um, look at the body, is to simply be with the contact that you can make you can make between your hands and the back of the head. Yeah? So if you're to join, if there's anyone out there watching me now, okay, I can't see if this is working. If there's anyone now out there, um, do um, join in. Uh, make contact between your hands and the back of the head, and I'm talking about the space between the skull and the neck, the the, the nook, uh, the nape of the neck, and make the contact kind. Make it two-way. It's it's not just your hands touching your head; it's your head touching your hands as well, and. There's a there's a equality of embrace, there's a equality of touch, and um, an engagement with the contact. That it's a bit like um, if you are lying down on the beach and you arrive there and you just go ah, oh, you know, you enjoy that that arrival. Well, um, if you can do that with the breath, with the arrival of the breath. It's as if you're breathing into the scruff of the neck. And uh, the, the way you use your arms is involved in that, so um, I would also invite you to bring the breath into the feeling of having your arms up. So imagine inhaling into, uh, I call them wings. Inhale into your wings, inhale into the back of the head. And of course, you don't actually get air in your head or your arms, but the instruction will help you engage with space. And that's the point, to engage with space, like it's a celebratory action. And you, you breathe that contact. And the, the usual thing is you, you celebrate to breathe in, and then when you release the breath, there's a collapse away. But what I'd like you to do is to breathe that contact, and then whatever the engagement is, whatever that embrace is, you keep doing it as you let the breath go. And the result should be something along the lines of entering the spine, whatever that means. Anyway, if, if that was um, interesting to you, um, do join me again. I, I'll, I'll be working out a regular time to do this, and um, I'm not sure when yet, but I will. I'll, I'll post it and I'll make it public, and I'll, I'll run little 20-minute um, yoga sessions, and I'll be taking questions and um, uh, suggestions and, and trying to respond to the people that are watching. So uh, I'd like to make it interactive if possible. Um, it's quite tricky with a little phone, but we'll, we'll, um, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm Mark J. Akraviva. I teach yoga. I, I run a, a yoga school with uh, my partner Abigail Peck. Uh, it's called the Akraviva School of Yoga. And um, yes, join me again live well, the next time. Thank you. Bye.